After one full year and 903 service calls, Portland Street Response gets high marks from researchers at Portland State University. Portland Street Response has come so far in a very short amount of time from a small pilot program in one neighborhood to a citywide movement that has fundamentally changed Portland's first response system. The program created in early 2021 dispatches small teams of crisis counselors and paramedics instead of police to nonviolent behavioral and mental health calls. Dr. Greg Townley, co-founder of PSU's Homelessness Research and Action Collaborative, presented the year one report to city council members in a work session Tuesday. The clearest, most pressing goal guiding the implementation of Portland Street Response was to reduce police interactions with people who have not committed a crime. Some key findings in this new report, the neighborhoods where street response was active saw a 4% reduction in total calls traditionally responded to by police, a 27% reduction in police response on non-emergency welfare checks, and a 12% reduction in firefighters responding to behavioral health and illegal burn calls. Of the 900 calls Portland Street Response was dispatched to, none of them resulted in arrests. Researchers found an overall positive attitude surrounding PSR from both the people in need of assistance to the general public to other first responders. Dr. Townley told city leaders the report shows the true effectiveness of the program as an addition to Portland's established first responder system, one he hopes will expand out further. Adequate resources to allow for sufficient staffing, protecting the integrity of the model as non-enforcement, and allowing Portland Street Response to be the program that it was intended to be for the city. I think you have a real win on your hands here uh, with this program, and I want to make sure that it's that it retains that that core mission that was informed by community from the start. Last month, city leaders announced Portland Street Response's citywide expansion. The pilot program started with six staff members, and it will expand to 20 full-time. During today's meeting, the manager told council that ideally they want 16 teams, a total of 58 full-time employees.